sightings of this magnificent bird, join Baywatch, weeknights at 8, only on Bravo. Now on Challenge TV, you can move on up. Later, you can get all clued up. Thanks very much, thanks very much, thanks and welcome to Move On Up, the fast-moving, perpetual motion quiz show, the show that never stops. Now, the aim of our game is for each contestant to get themselves here, because this is pole position, and it's the best place to score points and win. And if you do win, we want you to come back to tomorrow's final with this week's other winners and the highest place runner-up. And the prize is two tickets for a hit West End musical and an overnight stay in a fab London hotel! Yeah! Yeah, top that other quiz shows. Anyway, let's crack on and meet today's contestants, and you are Debbie. Yep. Debbie Rich, pleased to meet you. Rich. How are you doing? Not too bad, thanks. Debbie, what do you love, what do you hate? I love my four boys, and I hate the miss they make. Oh, bless. <laughs> so, what, housework and stuff, is that a problem? Oh, just, I'd rather look down walls. I hate yeah, it. but oh, come on, women are better at housework than men. No, I'm better at looking down walls. There you are. Come on. <laughs> come on. No. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What about the new man? Do you remember that? Whatever happened to him? I think he did the dishes once in 1985, <laughs> then nipped off down the pub, didn't he? <laughs> so, anyway, I'm glad you're on the show, and it shouldn't be too much of a mess by the end, but I'm sure you'll do fab. Thanks very and much. And, yeah, housework liars. <laughs> hey, hiya. Zoe. Hi. I'm Richard. Pleased to meet you. So, what do you love? What do you hate? I love beer. But yeah. I hate a hangover. Ah. <laughs> now, call me old-fashioned, but there's a direct correlation between these two. If you didn't drink the beer, you wouldn't have the hangover. You want the beer? Yeah. Sorry, it's not an option. You can have either. Do you, like, um, have a cure, though, for uh, hangovers? Yeah, stay in bed. Stay in bed. And don't come on quiz shows. <laughs> You'll be fine. I haven't got a hangover now, have you? I did have. Bless. <laughs> you will. OK, nice to see you, Zoe. Maxine, pleased to meet you. I'm Richard. What do you love? What do you hate? Um, I love travelling and I hate dieting and exercise. Oh, bless. Who likes dieting and exercise? <laughs> yeah. And where would you like to travel to, ideally, if you got the chance to go, I don't know, say tomorrow? Um, probably America. Oh, fantastic. Me mm. too. OK, America tomorrow. That'd be fantastic, Maxine. Uh, in my dreams as well. And Eileen, I'm pleased to meet you. How do you Rich, how you doing? Hi, thank you. So what do you love? What do you hate? I hate getting up early, so I love lying in bed. Fantastic. Yeah. Don't you hate that sound yes. when you hear an alarm <laughs> ringing in your ear? Especially when you're in a police car at the time. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> fantastic. Now I'm not having a Geordie. It's part of her cultural heritage. Great to have you on the show, Eileen. Pleased to see you. And Hi. Liz. Yep. Hi, Hi Rich. Rich. Pleased to meet you. So what do you love? What do you hate? I love going to the theatre. But I hate it when you're sitting in the theatre and the person in front of you has got a packet of boiled sweets. Oh, yeah. A packet of boiled sweets. Or worse still, have you ever sat in the theatre like when you're in the stalls and there's been somebody up above and they've been lobbing stuff down? Because that's what I do. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so I'm only teasing, but it's a very good answer to that and a very good um, uh, thing to, to bear in mind with this audience in case they start ch chucking stuff at me by the end of it. So I'm glad you're on the show, Liz. These are Thanks. our contestants. Let's crack on with the show. <laughs> We're going to kick off with one question to decide which of you all will move into pole position because that's where you want to be to answer the rest of the questions. So we have a starter question, everybody on the buzzers, here we go. First question, with which sport do you associate Nigel Mansell? And it's Eileen first. Motor racing. Motor racing, that's correct. Eileen, move on up. <laughs> Great. So you're first to start our first game, Eileen, because you're in pole position. That's mm -hmm. how this works. And what you get are three general knowledge questions, and they're worth five points each. Now, once I've done those three questions, I then do a buzzer question for everybody else to then get the chance to move into pole position. But these three are just for you, Eileen. Here we go. First question. Who is the Deputy Prime Minister? Gordon Brown. 
No, John Prescott, hard lines, tough one. He's only been in a short while, but there you go, hard lines. Second question. Is March the 17th St. Patrick's or St. Andrew's Day? St. Patrick's. St. Patrick's, correct, five points. Third question for you. The Mock Turtle was a character in Alice in Wonderland. True or false? True. True, fantastic. That's ten points. Let's hear it for Eileen. <laughs> so, this question is open to you four now to try and get into pole position. So it's hands on the buzzers for everyone. Here we go. Ready? Right. In which film did Whitney Houston sing I Will Always Love You? It's Maxine. The Bodyguard? The Bodyguard. Correct, Maxine. Move on up. Yeah, well done. So, same applies to you, Maxine. You get three general knowledge questions, each worth five points each, and I'll kick off with this one. In which county is Oxford? Oxfordshire. Yes, fantastic, correct. Five points. Bit of a trick question. <laughs> Second one, who was the mythical king who turned anything he touched to gold? Was it Modem or Midas? Modem. No, it wasn't. It was Midas. Oh, hard lines. Still, you've got another chance. You've got five points already. Maybe you get up to ten. Here we go. The Viking name for the city of York was Jorvik. Is that true or false? False. It was true. Oh, hard lines, Maxine. Let's have a round of applause anyway for five points. I know, I know, it's Jorvik. Jorvik sounds like a made-up name, but that's the way it works sometimes. Okay, buzzer question for these four contestants to move into pole position. Here we go. Your starter. In which country would you see fjords? It's Debbie. Holland. Not Holland. Eileen. Norway. Norway is correct. Eileen, move on up. <laughs> so, you have uh, three general knowledge questions, and they're going to go with this one first, Eileen. Number one. Who is Clark Kent better known as? Superman. Correct, five points. Second question. Are Percherons and Suffolks fish or horses? Horses. Horses, correct, ten points. Third question. The world's largest lake is Lake Placid. True or false? False. False, correct, because it's Lake Superior. That's full marks for Eileen. Round of applause. <laughs> So that was 15 points you whacked in there, Eileen. Fantastic. We're going to crack on now with our second game. This is called Give Me Five. What happens here is I have cards with lists of five items on them, and I want you to match the items I have here with your answers. So every time I ask you, try and get as many answers as you can, because you've only got 10 seconds in which to try and match my cards. And if you want to play this at home, um, I'll show you the card now. If you don't want to play, don't have a look, because it'll spoil it. But Eileen, you're in poll, so therefore you go first. I've got five items on here. I want you to match them for me with your answers. And your five items will be, match five gemstones. You've got 10 seconds, and that starts... Now. Diamond. Yes. Ruby. Yes. Emerald. Yes. Sapphire. Yes. Opal. Fantastic. Oh. Five. <laughs> 25 points. And uh, I don't know if you know this, but taking a breath is optional if you want, Eileen. <laughs> but you just whack them out if you want to. So, uh, brilliant. Fantastic. 25 points. Zoe. Pressure. Eileen pressure. went and got 25. <laughs> Take your time. It's going to be match five Disney characters. And I have the five in front of me. You have ten seconds. And that starts now. Mickey Mouse, yes. Minnie Mouse, yes. Pluto. Yes. Go on, go on. Lion King. Uh, no, I haven't got that one. Early ones, old ones. It was a dog. Uh, and, goofy. Uh, yes. Oh, <laughs> four out of five. Twenty points. Yeah, good. The only one I had on my list was Donald Duck that you didn't go for. We got Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Pluto and Goofy. Yeah, fantastic. Was Goofy a dog? Yeah, yeah he was, wasn't he? And Pluto was a dog. Yeah. There's no point for this, I'm just asking. <laughs> okay, all dogs. Let's crack on now. Maxine, please do this for me. Could you match five things that you would find in a bathroom? You've got ten seconds, and that starts now. Um, bath, yes. sink, towels, toothbrush, yes. taps. No, keep going. Bathroom cabinet. No, what was the toothbrush? What would you use? Toothbrush yes. holder, toothpaste. Yes, that's the one. Oh, well done. You got toothpaste, toothbrush, bath. That's fifteen points because you got three right. Well done. Soap and mirror were the two I didn't have. Round of applause for Maxine. <laughs> right. Deb. Yeah. Deb, how you doing? Not too bad. 
help, and you don't need any help, this will be good for you. I want you to match five things that you'd find in a garden shed. You have ten seconds, and that starts now. Ho, rake, spade, yes. salt, yes. trowel, no. hose, flower pots, deck chairs, yes. bikes, shears, no. lawnmower. Yes. Oh, <laughs> fantastic. You've got spade, fork, lawnmower, plant pots, 20 points. Big round of applause for this. Yeah, the only one that I had here was gardening gloves that you didn't have on yours. Don't use them. Yeah, don't use gloves. <laughs> sure, housework, the same thing. Who needs gloves? Rock hard. Never have a fight with our Debs. Okay, Liz, I've got five things on my card for you. And what I'd like you to do is match five things to do with tennis. Mm. You've got ten seconds, and that kicks off now. Racket, yes. ball, net, yes. Yes. serve, volley, smash. Uh, backhand, slice, No, I've got any of these. Players, the place you're at. Empire, yes. tennis court. Oh, fantastic. you got four. you got racket, you got net, you got umpire, you got balls. The only one I had was Wimbledon, so that's 20 points. Let's have a big round of applause. <laughs> four correct. So, that's the end of our first two rounds. Let's have a look at our scores. Debbie, after two rounds, you have scored 20 points. Zoe, after two rounds, you two have scored 20 points. Maxine, after two rounds, you've also scored 20 points. Liz, after two rounds, you've scored 20 points. And in the lead with 50 in our pole position, Eileen! So, Eileen stays in pole position, but we're going to go to the break now. Come back and join us after that. Here's an observation challenge game for you to play, just for fun. So remember to watch very carefully. This is a clip from Family Fox. Welcome back. Eileen, you're in pole position now, and we're going to play the next game, the category game, which means you start it. What happens here is we have five categories from which to choose questions. You could have, say, chart attack, which is pop music and generally music. We've got playing games, which is like the most competitive activities. We've got TV teasers, which is obviously TV trivia. Movie mania, which is movie trivia. And globe trotting, which is kind of all around the world stuff. What do you fancy, Eileen? I'll try playing games. I think Let's play is. games. OK, you get three questions. They're each worth five points, and they're just for you. Here we go. Which club does Ryan Giggs play for? Is it Manchester United or Liverpool? Liverpool. No, it's no. Man United. <laughs> I don't know nothing about football. You don't have to know anything about football, not to be a Man U fan. <laughs> eh? So, uh, oh, a few in. You can't get away with it. Second question for you, Eileen. You'll get this. How many Grand Nationals did Desert Orchid win? One, two, or three? One. Yes, oh. correct answer. Correct answer there for Eileen. <laughs> you looked as if you guessed at that one. I knew you knew on <laughs> Third question. Which team game was featured in the Kevin Cosner movies Field of Dreams and Bull Durham? American football. Oh, baseball. No. Yes, it was baseball. <laughs> so yeah. I no, think American, I'll have to accept yeah, football. football. Oh, hard lines. Oh, anyway, you got five for that section. So let's have a round of applause for Eileen, please. <laughs> Now, a buzzer question for you four to try and get into pole position. So, hands on the buzzers, everybody. How many Spice Girls are there? Debbie. Five. Fives. Correct answer, Debbie. Move on up. <laughs> well done, Deb. What? So, you can have any of the categories we mentioned before. Chart Attack, TV Teasers, Movie Mania, Globe Trotting, but not playing games, because that's already gone. The easiest. Um. The easiest. <laughs> Whatever you like. I don't know. I'll try TV teasers. TV teasers, fantastic. Yeah, we've got three in here. Three questions about TV for you, Deb. First one being this. Which TV show is set in the Central Park coffee bar? Friends. Friends, correct answer, five points. 
Second question. What did Yogi Bear go around stealing in Jellystone Park? Picnic baskets. Fantastic. <laughs> Great, that's a correct answer. Ten points. And uh, thanks for doing the impression, because I'm a big Yogi fan. And <laughs> third question for you. Name the actor who plays Cracker. Cracker. Oh, Robbie Coltrane. Correct answer. That's 15 points for Debbie. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Great. So once again, a starter question for everybody else to go for. Hands on the buzzers. Here we go. Go on, Zoe, you'll get this one. Here we go, everybody. <laughs> In which country would you see the Sphinx? Eileen. Egypt. Egypt, correct. Move on up. <laughs> Back again. <laughs> well, last time you went for playing games and you didn't fancy that footy stuff much no. or the horse racing, but you did all right. So what do you want to go for now? There's chart attack, there's movie mania or globe trotting. I think globe trotting. Globe trotting, yeah. Okie dokie. Here are your three questions, each for five points. True or false? Monopoly was originally designed around the streets of Atlantic City. True. True, correct. Five points. Second question. Which county divides Cornwall from Somerset? Devon. Devon, correct. Ten points. Third question for you, Eileen. Which rather large object... Easy. Which rather large object did a Mr. Tom Bow, that's T-O-M-B-A-U-G-H, a Mr. Tom Bow, discover in 1930? Was it Africa, Ayers Rock, or Pluto? Pluto. Pluto, correct. 15 points for Riley. <laughs> Brilliant. So, one more starter question for you to get into pole position. Let's have a go, everybody. Buzzer hands at the ready. To which Scottish village... Would you run away to get married, Debbie? Gretna Green. Gretna Green's correct. Debbie, move on up! <laughs> Back again! <laughs> so what do you want to go for this time? I think it's between Chart Attack, that's gone, Chart Attack and Movie Mania. I'm too old for Chart Attack and no, Movie Mania. No, oh, not at all. <laughs> movie Mania then. Here we've got some film stuff for you. First question. What green objects were fried at the Whistle Stop Tomatoes. Cafe? Tomatoes, correct. Five points. Or tomatoes. Second question for you. Which Johnny starred as Edward Scissorhands? Oh. Depp, correct. Five points. Third question for you, Debbie. Which actor played Paul Newman's partner in The Sting? Robert Redford. Correct. Another five points. Fifteen points for Debbie! <laughs> well done, you. One more chance. We've got one category left, so let's have a shot at this one. Hands on the buzzers, everybody. Chariots of what won a Best Film Oscar? It's Liz. Fire. Fire, correct, Liz. Move on up. <laughs> so, um, you choose any one you want. I'll have two movies, please. I would love <laughs> to joking. give you that. I'm a, oh, oh yeah. I love you. It's Chart Attack. Yeah. That's all we've got left. Go Fantastic. But you never know, there might be a charty TV thing in here, who knows. Three questions, five points apiece. Here yeah. we go. Which, there is, yeah. Which French-Canadian singer had a hit with Falling Into You oh. recently? She sang on the Oscars. Celine Dion? Yes, correct, five points. Second question. Which artistic Aussie had an un unexpected hit with a cover version of Stairway to heaven. Rolf Harris. Correct. Another five points. Well done, Liz. Third question for you. Which group sang Rockin' All Over the World? Slade. No, it was status quo, oh. Liz. But you got ten points. Let's have a round of applause for Liz. <laughs> and that brings us to the end of our category round. And we're going to crack on now and check up with the scores. Zoe, you scored 20 points so far, but there's loads more questions and another round to go to catch up. And Maxine, you scored 20 and the same applies. Loads more questions and points to go for yet. Liz, you've got 30 points. Debbie, you're up there in second place with 50, but in the lead with 70, it's Eileen! <laughs> Well done. So, and just before we get into our next round, it has occurred to me that this is uh, one of the first times on the show that we've actually had an all-woman show. So, what do you think of that, Debbie? So, tell me about men. What do you least like about men? Where do I start? Oh, and you looked at me when you said it. Thanks no. for that, Debbie. <laughs> do you want a list? Yeah. <laughs> right, A, alphabetically. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just stop with the A's. That'll okay. be great. Eileen. 
What do you least like about men? Unreliability, I think. Unreliable. Yeah. Lack of organisation. Yeah. yeah. Boo, yeah. sisters from all the uh, yeah. Yeah. And the blokes are don't move, don't apply to me. Maxine, what do you least like about men? Probably the switch of the channels all the time. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I thought it was in the law that we had to have the remote. That's the bloke's law, isn't it? <laughs> Zoe, what do you least like about blokes? The way they keep changing your car seat and every time you go in you have to <laughs> amend your car seat and your oh, mirror. Oh, right. But with blokes, again, that's part of our heritage. Cars are, you know, that's our... Yeah, but you should put it back. Oh, I'm you found that. it. <laughs> that's woman's work, isn't it? No, I'm only joking. <laughs> Kidding. Liz, what do you least like about men? I can't say too much because my husband's in the audience. Fair play. Um, but the fact that they sometimes struggle to understand women. Really? Mm. Well, men are stupid. Is that what you're saying? Uh, I didn't say it. Yeah, but you <laughs> wanted to. It doesn't matter anyway. That'll do for me. Let's play our last game because this is the scramble game. Um, it's a rapid fire one, so it's like um, hands on the buzzers for everybody. I give you five points for every correct answer, but it's five points away, deducted for every one you get wrong. So that's the game, okay? Yep. I'm going to crack through this. Here we go. Dawn French starred in a series of comedies named Murder Most What? Yes, Eileen. Horrid. Horrid. Correct answer, Eileen. Five points. What is a group of six musicians called? Debbie. Sextet. Sextet. Correct. Five points. Who won the Football World Cup in 1966? Eileen. England. England, correct. Five points. What were the names of John F. Kennedy's brothers? Yes, Debbie. Bobby and Teddy. Yes, correct. Five points. What is a bird in the hand? Sorry. That's okay. Well, well, two in the bush. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, five points, Eileen, or should we call you Mystic Meg? Fantastic. <laughs> Next question. What is the proper name for a bullfighter? Yes, Eileen. Toreador. No, it's Matador. Five points away. Next question. Which unit of currency is used in India? Yes, Debbie. Rupee. Rupee. Five points. Correct. Which London team won the 1997 FA Cup final? Debbie. Chelsea. Chelsea. Five points. Correct. In which Italian city would you find gondoliers? Debbie. Venice. Venice. Five points. Correct. In which American state would you find the Everglades? Debbie. Florida. Florida, five points correct. What is the most common name for the American mythical creature, the Sasquatch? Debbie. Bigfoot. Bigfoot's the right answer, five points again. Which vegetable did Sir Walter Raleigh introduce into England? Debbie. Potato. Potato, five points right again. Which country do rugby's all blacks come from? Eileen. New Zealand. New Zealand, five points to Eileen, correct answer. What sort of music is associated with the end of the game? Let's hear it for everybody. was fantastic. I don't think anything can go faster than that. So let's have a look at our final scores. Zoe, <laughs> you scored 20 points. I hope that isn't too bad for you. Fine. Fantastic. And that put you in uh, fifth place, but equal fifth place with Maxine, because you scored 20 points as well. And I hope it was a lot of fun being on the show, because yeah, we had fun having great. you. Fantastic. And with 30 <laughs> points, Liz, did you see that? And with 30 <laughs> points, Liz, you were in third place. Yep. So I hope that's okay for you. That's all right. Fantastic. And our runner-up today is Eileen. <laughs> You got 85, which means that the winner, by five points, with a fantastic 90, Debbie! <laughs> and that means you go into our final tomorrow, Debbie, but the highest scoring runner-up will be Eileen! Yay! So Liz, please accept a fantastic consolation prize, one of these lovely colourful books Thank with you. fantastic pages in and everything, Thank and you can write and everything. Same for you, Zoe, and Maxine, Thank same you. for you, and same for you, Eileen. Thank but that isn't the end of the show. Let's have a round of applause for all our fantastic contestants! Yeah. And come with me! Because tomorrow we'll be doing the final on Move On Up. So I'll be seeing you then. Here's an observation challenge game for you to play, just for fun, so watch very carefully. This is a clip from the Crystal Maze, see it every night at 8. And the question is, how many crystals was Richard O'Brien holding? Answer, after the break. <laughs>